you all. I am Bindu. Hope you all are doing well. For today's video, our topic is democracy, an evolving idea. We will explore the beginnings of democracy in England, the USA, and France during the 17th and 18th centuries, as well as recent democratic movements in Libya and Myanmar. Democracy has faced challenges with popular rule being established and then overthrown. Even when popular rule was established, only a few people participated in electing rulers. Over time, democracy has expanded and developed new aspects. However, it has also raised difficult questions that we will discuss. Learning Outcomes Meaning of Democracy How does democracy work? Democracy requires the participation of citizens. Democracy requires civil liberties. Democracy requires equality. Democracy requires free and fair elections. Democracy requires respect for law opinion. Democracy, majoritarian versus inclusive. Dignity and freedom of the citizens. Keywords, Revolutionary Command Council. RCC The ultimate decision making body in Iraq before the American led invasion in 2003 Civil liberties Laws established for the good of the community, especially about freedom of action and speech. Executive Relating to or having the power to put plans or action into effect. Inclusive Including all the services or items normally expected or required. LTTE Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam A separatist militant organization fighting for an independent homeland for Sri Lanka's Tamil minority in northern Sri Lanka. Let us look at this concept map first.
democracy means responsible governments. Responsible governments are based on democracy, where those who are in power are chosen by the people and are accountable to them. This is typically done through regular elections. However, in Libya, the Revolutionary Command Council, RCC, held ultimate power without being elected or born by the people's representatives. Although there were elected assemblies, they had limited decision making authority and had to follow the RCC's orders. In a democratic country, elected representatives hold supreme power and no one who is not directly elected by the people can have authority over them. These representatives are accountable to the people through explanations of their work, providing information upon request and seeking re-election based on their performance. Democracy means equality and inclusiveness. All adults, regardless of their gender, wealth, race, religion, or language, have the right to vote. It took time for democracy to develop with voting rights, gradually expanding to include more people. However, some countries still have discriminatory laws. For example, Estonia's citizenship rules make it difficult for racial minorities to vote and Fiji's electoral system gives more value to indigenous Fijians votes. In our country the Constitution grants universal franchise permit to all citizens above the age of 18 years old, the right to vote in elections. Democracy requires the active participation of citizens. <coughs> Democracy is more than just voting. It involves citizens having a say in the making of policies and laws. This can be achieved through open discussions and citizen committees. However, participation is difficult and not encouraged by some governments. Additionally, many people do not care about public matters and choose not to vote. In the 2012 US presidential election, over 40% of people did not vote. Democracy requires civil liberties.
people need freedom to participate in decision making. This includes knowing, discussing and expressing independent opinions. Governments have tried to control these rights by censoring speech, limiting associations and keeping information secret. In some countries, only one party is allowed to function. These restrictions help governments stay in power. Democracy requires equality. Democracy needs everyone to have an equal say. But it also needs fairness in society and the economy. If there are big gaps between rich and poor or high and low classes, then equal voting doesn't mean much. The rich and powerful can easily make others vote their way. In many families, men decide who everyone should vote for, even the women. In countries like the USA, the media is mostly owned by rich companies or powerful people. They control what people see and hear and influence public opinion. The rich and powerful also have direct access to lawmakers and can shape policies. Poor and uneducated people don't have that kind of access. So, true democracy needs social and economic fairness, not just equal voting. Democracy requires free and fair elections. Free and fair elections are important for a country to have good leaders. Some countries limit choices by only allowing a few parties to compete. Even in some other countries, those who are in power can manipulate the election process. A democracy needs real choices and the ability to remove leaders. Democratic governments follow laws, have independent judiciary and executive and protect minority rights. Democracy has challenges but works within constitutional law and citizen rights. Democracy, majoritarian versus inclusive overall. Democracy is often seen as a majority rule, but in diverse countries, differences of opinion are inevitable, unavoidable. While majority voting is useful in simple situations, it can be divisive, isolating in complex situations involving entire communities or classes. In these cases, and Inclusive approach that considers the needs of both 
the majority and minority is more beneficial. Two examples illustrate this. Belgium is a small European country. Most people in its Flanders part speak Dutch. While most in the Valnia part speak French. A small number of people speak German. In Brazil's most people speak French. Tensions arose between the Dutch and the French speakers in the 1950s and 1960s, especially in Brussels, where Dutch speakers were a minority. Sri Lanka is an island near India with a diverse population. The majority of its population are Sinhala speakers, 74%, followed by Tamil speakers, 18%. Most Sinhala people are Buddhist. And most Tamil speakers are Hindu or Muslim. Should the majority's views be followed in these countries? Let us see what happened in both places. Majoritarianism in Sri Lanka. After Sri Lanka gained independence in 1948, the Sinhala leaders wanted to control the government because they were the majority. They made Sinhala the only official language and favored Sinhala job applicants. This made the Tamil community feel left out and caused tension between the two groups. The Tamils fought for equal rights and freedom, but their requests were denied, opposed. This led to a civil war when an extremist radical group called the LTTE took control of some of the Tamil provisions colony. The Sri Lankan army defeated the LTTE, but many Tamil people were killed or forced to leave as refugees, escaper, which hurt the country's development. Accommodation in Belgium. Belgium's leaders acknowledged their regional differences and cultural diversity. They modified their constitution four times from 1970 to 1993 to establish a unique arrangement for coexistence. The Belgian model ensures equal numbers of Dutch and French speaking ministers in the central government. And requires support from both linguistic groups for laws. State governments possesses significant powers and are not 
subordinate to the central government. Brussels has its government with equal representation from both language communities. This is because the Dutch speaking community agreed to equal representation in the central government. Alongside the central and state governments, there is a community government elected by individuals from different language communities. This government holds authority over cultural, educational and language related matters. These arrangements stopped conflict and division in Belgium. Brussels is the EU headquarters due to fairness and justice. Belgium and Sri Lanka are democracies but share power differently. Belgium values diversity and Sri Lanka's refusal caused conflict. Dignity and freedom of the citizens. Democracy is good for respecting people's dignity and freedom. Conflict can happen, but democracies are aware of this. Some societies find it hard to treat women and disadvantaged groups equally. Democracy helps these people. People want democracy to improve and have high expectations from it. Complaints received from people show that they think critically. Conclusion Legal equality, political freedom and the rule of law are often identified by commentators as foundational characteristics of a well-functioning democracy.